हेलो फ्रेंड्स पिछली दो तीन वीडियोस में कुछ ऑडियो इश्यूज आ रहे थे तो आई ट्राइड माई लेवल बेस्ट टू ओवरकम ऑल दोज इशूज सो आई होप दिस टाइम द ऑडियो विल बी मच मोर लाइजिबली ऑडिबल ऑल्सो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव क्रिएटेड दिस फाइल एंड सेव इट्स एज कॉपी पेस फॉर्मेटिंग एंड डाटा वैलिडेशन एग्जाम्पल्स सो कैन वी डू इन if a situation comes we want to make a copy of four items first and thereafter we want to paste it one by one how can we do all that so you have to click here for getting your clipboard open go to the options just check this box show office clipboard automatically and close this issue let us say this is control c copied this is control c copied now this option has been clipboard is on and whatever we are copying it is coming on to the upper level so i let us say this is the fourth copy and this is the fifth copy five copies i have made and i want to place here one by one so first copied first enter second copied pasted now third copied pasted now and thereafter fourth copied pasted and the last we have copied fifth and pasted and after that you can clear or just press the escape that will go away from the memory okay these are the five items we first we all copied into the clipboard and thereafter pasted it one by one this is the simplest command you can make this option available just by pressing control c c pressing c twice you will get all this okay if you want to clear all then all will go away and just click this cross button so this is copy paste the second example is you know formatting this is the ledger of a party wherein we have taken the date particular debit credit and balance and we want that this balance should instead of showing it as a negative or positive it should show debit or credit and also the closing balance should be updated accordingly how can we do that let's say this ledger goes from up to 1 to 15 you can click anywhere here here or here you have the three arrows given you can click anywhere you like if you want to go in for alignment features just click here if about the number formatting click here if font to deal with click here or you have the shortcut control 1 this is why i have kept the sheet name as control 1 so in just by pressing control 1 the number formatting is on and the last option is custom here we are to you know define the custom what we want we want to segregate debit portion credit portion and if the balance is zero how can we do that just 0.00 means it will be shown like this let me enlarge the view 0.00 is going to place the figures with decimal space within double quotes we will write debit if we want dot after debit you can press dot whatever we will write within the double quotes will come automatically and now semicolon is the separator between debit and credit again now we want the font to be red for negative figures so we have to place it into the square brackets space 0.00 for figure work space double quotes cr dot credit double quotes again the colon now if comes the zero we will we want it as nil value okay then just by pressing the okay we will have you know felt the changes have been made so so far as negative figures it will write as credit and for debit figures font is black and debit is placed for nil values there is the nil and the moment we'll change it let us say so the value automatically gets changed and the balance is updated so whatever here is written into this we want to copy its format just by clicking this button and press placing on this so it will be changed accordingly let us say here we get 1800 then the balance is nil so in case of zero balance nil will be shown and uh, for negative figures it font will be red and the credit is placed so 
so this is the power of you know control one this is why i have placed the name sheet of uh, name sheet as control one this is the shortcut for you know opening the uh, formatting portion you can just click here then also the formatting portion is open but the font uh, window will be open and for so far as alignment is concerned alignment will be open from that window if you want to play with some figure work then the number portion is open and we are to create our uh, formula of our choice that is done into the custom okay now come see next example we have this kind of employees this is the list of the employees and we want to create the code of the employees so let us say how can the code we are having the two problems in code we won't, don't want duplicates and the code should be less than equal to 5 or we can say it should always be greater than or equal to 3 it should not be less than 3 let us resume this example how can we deal with just press alt dl for data validation just click choose the custom and we want the formula since there are two conditions we'll deal with and now we want to check the length of this cell should be greater than or equal to 3 meaning thereby the code should be greater than 3 or equal to 3 characters and count if count if is let us say we want to place in the whole is column into and this is the criteria and it should be less than 2 we will close the end bracket and we have to freeze this a just by pressing f4 so let's check now since we have to place we have calculated only in a2 we want to place this formula to the whole a column so the message is on to the screen do you want to extend data validation to all the cells yes click ok so in a column we have placed this now let us try to put let us check two conditions if the code is less than three characters system is going to restrict us it will certainly force us to put the code for three characters or more now it is accepted a041 is accepted more than three or equal to three let us say b01 allowed c0 not allowed less than or equal is not equal to three is less than three characters so this is the condition now let us check whether it is the duplicate one this is b01 system is checking the whole column so and restricting us not to enter the wrong data this is the duplicate one let us check a041 it is restricting us it won't allow us to enter you know the duplicate value employee code can't be the duplicate one so this um, this was the best example like um, can tell let us check now another one so this is the pan let us say a b c d e one two three four r these are of 10 characters a b c d one two three four r t now i have entered the 11 characters now just go to this alt d l and text length should be equal to 10 can apply to the even we can apply to the whole column also apply these to the cells okay but it hasn't given the error here are the 11 cells because we have entered the data first and thereafter we have placed the custom validation check so since the data is entered first and custom validation is placed thereafter it could not check but there is another option available into you know data and data validation i can check the second one click the circle invalid data
so it has given me the circle into the invalid data so this is the circle because i have also placed the formula into the header so you can just go to alt dl and any value we can place into the header so it will go away now what about the gst since gst is a combination of pan and state code and for local units so pan is of 10 numbers let us first check key. Uh, if it is less than 10 characters it will allow or not it won't allow a b c d e 1 2 3 4 r r it won't allow more than 10 characters so it has already been checked now we have to check this whole column alt d l custom okay text length equal to 15 we want here the text should be of 15 characters gst number is of 15 characters and first two are state codes let us say the state code is um, 03 and 04 and the suffix is 1ze to r y so let, let us presume 03 is Punjab code and 04 is Arena code. How can we intermingle? Just take the state code first and ampersand will adjoin then the pan number and last one is suffix. So it has entered the characters and have also not broken the you know format of 15 characters. So since this is 10, these are 2 and these are 3. So making a combination of 15 characters so data validation is okay now so also we have uh, come to know how to join the multiple texts but there is another issue many a times you know let us say the what the older version was 10 number was of 11 digits let us say alt dl and uh, we want text length equal to 11 digits so that starts with 0, 0, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So these are 7, 9, and 8. But it won't allow me to enter because it is starting with 0. So this is the big issue. You can face how to start a number with a 0. So it will not allow me to enter. But I want to enter because the data validation says that there should be 11 characters. But the numerology restricts me not to start the number from zero. How can we, you know, uh, bring the collaboration into these two um, anomalies? So we can just start the number with single quote and enter the text. How can we do that? Zero, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Eight and two. One more character is required. Zero, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and two and nine. Let us say now it is. But single quote is not a character. This can be verified from the formula length. Let me check the length of this formula. It should have been eleven otherwise the data validation won't have allowed me to enter less than or more than 11 so this is the way we can check the length of a text entered into a cell so these were the basics which i earlier explained into my previous videos but because of the you know audible uh, errors i tried to you know explain all those into a synopsis type Thank you very much friends if you like this video kindly share it with your friends or and place the queries uh, if i can handle thank you very much thank you brother